Hello and welcome back to Fishing Barren Sea. Here we are with the beautiful Flotus. I say beautiful, she's an ugly duckling, isn't she really? Um, let's, not, let's just call a spade a spade. She's not, she's not a, she's not a looker. She's a, she's a pro, yeah, a very useful and um, productive vessel, but um, yeah, she's what she is, what she is, and that's fine. Um, Let's bring you up to speed on what we're doing. So we've got this line, or this net in here, which is 120 meter net, which has been in there for 20 hours. This one's been in there for 18 hours. And we set one down here, which has been in there for almost 12 hours. By the time we get these two sorted, um, we might need to go back to port and get some fuel, actually. Uh, we might need to go up here to get some fuel. Uh, uh, to fjord. To fjord. Um, but we're going to see what we can haul in here. At the moment, we didn't. We got some catching in, and we've currently got. Um, you see, they've had a, almost a day in the fridge. Uh, 1.2 tons of uh, red fish, 1.7 of pollock, 1,500 um, kilograms of haddock, and 5,000 kilograms of cod, which is doing okay. Now, um, I was just having a look at the. The fish, um, bearing in mind we are in October, October the 7th. Let's just go back to where I was. Uh, the fish. Um, so, cod is obviously in season September to February, so this is what we want to uh, get and it's best quality. Pollock is all year round, so that's fine. Haddock is August to February, so it's haddock season as well. Redfish is August to December, so we're, we are still in their. Um, still in their season as well but uh, from January to July that's for their breeding season so I doubt we'll be able to catch or if we can the uh, the quota will go down markedly and mackerel is May to October so um, we're not in mackerel season at the moment uh, I, I do this because we, what we're looking to do of course is to go trawling in the Lunar Bow next um, so if you have a look at the various types of trawling it's here so for the Lunar Bow um, we do pelagic, pelagic, pelagic? Uh, boats generally fish for specific species, single species, very large vessels such as herring or mackerel. Uh, the lunar bow can do mackerel and pollock. The good news is, as we saw earlier, pollock can be caught all year round, so that isn't um, too much of a disaster. Right, let's um, just see where we're going. We've been. Wait, give me that. There we go. Uh, so there's one boy. Where's the other boy? Oh, it's there. Okay, we're coming at a bit of a bit of a funny angle for this one. Let's get the the boys uh, roused from their bunks and get them on the uh, switch the lights on so wake them up. Come on, boys, are you awake? Good, they're awake. You can see them in there, ready to go. Fantastic. Right, I've just got to do some uh, a handbrake turn around here basically, and uh, we should be good. Uh, let's see if I can do this without doing anything too drastic. One thing I have noticed, this ship is so slow. I've I've upgraded the engines. Oh my god, she's still so slow. So that's why I haven't done much of the uh, the unlocking of the map because good god this ship. This hasn't been um a particular favorite of mine, I'll be honest. I like the uh, the orchestra, the the one we had before this. And the Otter's Pocket was a pretty good ship as well. Um, uh, so I am looking to get the Lunar Bow ASAP. Trawling, I've, I've watched a video on trawling and oh my goodness, it looks complicated. So we may need to practice on that. So I think once we get this catch in, uh, the nets we've got out, uh, I think it might be time to... Um, oh, it's nice cod came in now, I think. Oh, that's a nice cod. Um, it might be time to go back, borrow some money, and get the Lunar Bow and uh, go trawling and learning a little bit of trawling. That may be the uh, course of action. Oh, lots of cod here. This is lovely. Cod goes well. That's what's that? Pollock, probably? That's a redfish. It's all looking good. It's looking a positive catch, this one. Nice. Another redfish. How are we doing with the old quotas? Oh, we're, we're fine. Absolutely fine.
Alright, gutting. This is we're doing the automatic gutting. Uh it's not too bad. It's averaging out quite well. There we go. Uh so we can have a look who's the best machine gutter. Uh it's probably it's probably old uh, care here. So we'll put um Olav on uh, icing duty, which is fine. Um oh, that that's a good look, we've almost got over half the boat full. Right, um Let's come over here. By the time we get over there, we should be golden. Yeah, 20 hours. Perfect. These are some nice fishing hotspots. Oh, there, there's the boy there. Where's the other one? How's it lined up? We should be here somewhere. Oh, there it is there. Cool, 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 cool. How are those boys got on? They're still just about finishing. Still doing what they're doing. Freezing 225 fish for an hour. Wow. And he's oh he's idle. You get on stacking then, Kerr. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I was assuming that was him still doing that, but that's Olav taking the gutted fish into the into the icing bay, isn't it? So that's cool. So Kerr can do that. Olav has almost got this sorted. How's their energy? You can see his stamina has increased so much since he's been out with us. Yeah, he was had a very small stamina bar when we first uh, uh, first hired him, but um, Care Johnson he has done a remarkable job and he's uh, improved at no end. So same can be said for Olav, of course. He's doing a grand job. Right, while you're doing that, Care, can you go into hauling and? Um, We'll leave Olav to do that and we'll do some manual hauling, shall we? Yeah, sounds like an idea. Oh, I missed it. There you go. Gotcha. So there's uh, Care. We've got a nice cod coming in. Nice. Got 14 fish to process in this um, net. Nice. Oh, that was a bit of a wet one, that one. Well, of course it'd be wet, but you know what I mean. It's a bit of a wet slap, I heard. Oh, lots of... Uh... Is this Pollock? I guess this is Pollock. This is redfish, obviously, being red and... I think this is Pollock. We're getting a lot of it, so we can see what we hauled in. Do, 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 do. It's a shame they don't, um, the, the musical tone, uh, notes don't change um, depending on the key. Oh, it's a cod. So you could play different tunes rather than the same do, 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 ascending scale. There we go. So the predominant one, oh, that's Haddock. What could, yeah, I guess it's Haddock. Haddock and Pollock, they look the same to me. Obviously not here, but when they're going across the um, the deck. Would I like to do some... Yeah, go on then. We haven't done any gutting for ages. Let's clear the desk. Move the cup out of the way. Uh, and let's get on with this. Right. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's awful. We got away with a three star. Okay. Oh, lag spike. No, that was a lag spike. I'm not, I'm not taking responsibility for that one. Yeah, this is awful. Oh, come on. Once it drops, it's imp Oh, God, this is hard. Have they changed this? This feels... The magnets feel so much stronger. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Finally, we're getting there now. That's a terrible one. Better. Better. Not perfect, but we're getting there. Uh, it's okay. Oh, we're getting lag spikes, which is causing... We got away with it, that one. Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a very good one. Oh, that's not so good one. But it's okay. A four star, we got away with that. 
I never lag spike. I so people were saying, you know, ah, that was awful. It's not consistent, that's the problem. The magnets are not consistent, and the actual motion is not consistent, which makes it very difficult. I seem to be standing on the uh, the gutting machine. There we go, I'm, I'm, I'm out. I don't care, uh, the gutting wasn't particularly good, but um, we're just going to have to uh, blame Olav for that one, because he's not here. I don't, whoa, my shadow's quite scary. Right, um, okay, go back to stacking. Oh dear, and we are pretty much um, fully uh, fully loaded. So let's um, come up here. We're going to sell it up here. We're, we're trying to... 15, 16 hours. Okay. That's going to get a bit old, but um, we're going to have to uh, accept that that line may go past its best. I'll have you go in there. Help him finish this stacking before we go into port. And a full... At this we're gonna have about 30 tons of fish all told and what we're we looking at oh, I don't know I don't know why it doesn't oh, I guess because it's the age isn't it that's why it doesn't all bundle in together never mind that's fine uh, the weather we can expect miserable weather heading our way me all this nice calm weather is soon to change look at this rain wintry storms 50 percent six meters per second wind eight meters per second oh, it's gonna be choppy it's gonna be choppy on the high seas right they are smashing through this what we're we doing he's doing 200 so we're doing about 500 a minute or an hour but you can see uh, we'll just slow down a bit so by the time we get to port they will have finished putting all the frozen fish into uh, stack storage. You can only sell them when they're in stack storage, so it's worth just cruising in and letting them finish this little task off. Yeah, there's been numerous patches since uh, we last played, I think, and um, yeah, I have noticed these little lag spikes are coming in, which is very frustrating if you're doing something like the hand gutting and I know people have complained previously about the the long line fishing with the that little mini game there that can also be a pain with the lag spikes as well makes it almost unplayable um, on Leo on lower end, end machines but it's uh, it's okay let's have a look at the uh, the intercom how you doing boys you're almost there okay we're coming into port now Slow down a little bit more, just so give them. Come on, you can do it. As I said, if you let the uh, the crew do all the work, then you don't notice anything, and it doesn't affect your uh, your catch much. It's difficult to say whether or not you actually doing some manual work in there actually improves the catch. I don't think it does, but it'd be interesting to see if that is a potential statistic. Right, let's just bring the. Care is too tired to work. Oh, Care, don't give up at the last second. Leave it all to Olav. Have some, have some crab sticks. Oh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer now because Care's decided to uh, call it a day. How much of a cut does he take? We'll have to find out. Because Olav is an absolute trooper. Come on, Olav. You can do it. How's Care? As soon as he gets some energy back, he's going to be dragged back into the... Uh... Come on, get back in there. There you go, he's probably got another 20 minutes work out of him. That may be all we need. Come on, almost there. Come on, boys. Care's going to quit before the end, I've got a feeling. There we go. Last thousand kilograms of frozen fish to stack. Two thirds there. Come on, boys. Come on, you're doing great. You're doing great. Look at them. The stacking kings. 
Under 600 kilograms? Under 500 kilograms? You can do this. Come on. Come on. You stay in there, Care. Stay in there. Oh, he's giving up. I knew he'd give up. Useless. He's gone back to eating his, his crab sticks. Okay, Olav, we've got um, 250-odd kilograms to go. You're going to do a champ job on this, aren't you? Never lets me down, this old Olav. And there was me at the beginning wondering whether or not I should employ him. Fifty, thirty-six, twenty-five. Olav, you legend. Care, you need to work on that, mate. Um, now I, I did give Care some um, some food, and you didn't really need to do that because if we go into port, they will be fully rested when we leave anyway. So maybe we give Care an opportunity to do some fishing, uh, some cooking as well. Right, just coming into port now. This is a nice. Um, captain's chair though I do like this uh, that view so there we go um, overall we're selling 16,000 kilograms of cod 5,800 kilograms of pollock 5,900 of haddock and 4,000 kilograms of redfish um, that's gonna go quite nice 640,000 right noise good so up to 3, 3 million 700 so first of all, as the, um, the docking bungee ropes pull us into uh, our death, what jobs are going? Um, they basically want us to deliver. That, that these are great if you've got the Orca, um, because it's a fast little ship. Uh, they want us to go to Hammerfest, which will take probably about half hour in this, but you couldn't get half a million. You know, it's, it's a good easy, good easy money, but you can't fast travel. You've got to drive there. So you need a speedy boat, really, and this is not the boat for um, those needs. Right, that's all done. Let's um, let's get out of here. We got that other net we need to go and get. Um, we'll just do a bit of side slip here. Try and get out of the. Uh, let's throw a tape. Well, what am I looking for? I'm looking for. Oh, do you know what? I'll just do it externally. Oh look, we got the crab sticks back. Fantastic. 99%. Um, we need to be a bit of uh, maintenance on the boat as well. Um, that has been in 22, almost 23 hours. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much ruinous net. I don't think we get much from that. But what we'll do, we'll go and collect whatever is in there, head back to Hammerfest, and look to potentially get a low now and um, get the Luna bow. Right. So care. Go and do some repair work. He's got 4% an hour he can repair, so you should do that in next no time, 15 minutes. Right, we're away. Oh, we're not going to wait too much longer. Let's. Oh, this is so nice. I'm going to stick another um, net down there, though. Oh wait, no. If we're going to get the trawler, we don't we don't want to really, do we? Let's come down straight down to this. These are going to be 30 hours now. Yeah, they're gone red. It's going to be. We're probably not going to catch anything from this, to be honest with you. Where are they? Oh, there they are. They're up front. Now we'll just get our net in, if nothing else. Yeah, I've got to, you know, learn to sometimes time these a little bit better. You'll you'll do this from time to time. Um, you you'll set uh, a couple of nets in. Wait seven to eight hours, ten hours. Set another net or two, and then you find out because you have to go back and get some fuel that it doesn't always um, the timings don't always work out the way you planned it but that's okay uh, I can see the net from there to about there it's just bobbed under the water uh, we've now gone into the uh, October the 8th which is 6 meter per second wind 67% chance of precipitation confirmed uh, and um, 7 degrees it's a bit of a miserable day all in all 6 octas I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, which is going to means that's the sort of mist visibility, isn't it? I seem to remember somebody telling me. Right, you boys, hop on here. Care's already tired, look at that. Go on, you can have a few more seconds eating. Alright, if I bring him back, oh no, those crab sticks. He'd put the crab sticks back. Oh, come on, Care. Have a thought. There's a couple of other people on the crew, you know. We don't eat your licks, chops, chopsticks, crab sticks. Oh. We have to teach him some uh, rules of the boat, it would seem. 
Right, coming up here. Get this lined up nicely. Uh, we might let car rest for a bit more because um, there's going to be literally nothing to haul up in this, I, I foresee. So we might as well do it with um, old Olav. There we go. Anything? Oh, there's, there's a redfish. Oh, it's going to be the only thing we call it. Look at that. So we all hauled in 50 cod, 40 pollock, 72 haddock, and uh, 46 redfish. Literally just because we left it too long. Um, oh. Oh. Okay, fine. Much better. Sorry if you can hear a car alarm going off. The neighbours decided not to bother getting up and putting their alarm off. Oh! Come on! My mouse would not go down there. Oh, it doesn't matter. That was a rubbish catch anyway. Right, Olav. Get some ice stack in. You get some of those. Right. Let's head back to Hammerfest then. Um, it's the only one with the uh, the boatyard. I think. So, what? Well, the ones I found anyway. Uh, so, this will take us a good long time. Uh, so, this is, this, this is the haddock we're looking at. So, pollock-wise, which we can fish with the trawler. Yeah, oh, actually we have to go up, out. do you see the um, the marker of the ship just creeping in there? You have to take the um, the the trawler out to sea, which is quite exciting. You can't have it on the in inland seas. So let's just bring this in. Is it all stacked? All stacked. In. Right, good work. Well done, boys. We'll bring this in. And look to upgrade. I just like driving the boat from this perspective. It's quite nice, isn't it? Swing the bow around. Yes. Right, we'll sell that. 61 grand. Well, it's still nothing to, you know... Shake a stick out, but um, it's not what we were kind of hoping for. Right, so let's have a look at the old boatyard then. And obviously the lunar bow is what we are looking at. Now this is 14.9 million. Wow, look at that. Wowee. So what we need to do, and that does pollock and mackerel as we said. So what we need to do is see how much more we can borrow. We can borrow 18 grand. Uh, sorry, 18 million. 18 grand? I th and I think, when you think we've got to buy the nets, and we've got to buy some equipment, and we've got to fuel the damn thing, I think we need to borrow that. Boom. So up to 22 mil. Nice. Let's go on holiday. Woohoo! No. Uh, we're going to buy the Luna Bow. I don't think you can. Let's just see if you can buy out of order. Do you think a huge amount of fish can be stored on humans? You know required to freeze and stack fish before selling. You need at least four crew members to achieve this. Apparently, you don't need to buy them in order. We now have the Hermes. Holy crap. I didn't mean to do that. We've only got two mil left. Okay. Oh well, science experiment achieved. Um, wow, look at these engine upgrades. Um... I want to get. I want to get the bigger radar. Oh, we've got to upgrade all these radars, do we? Right. Uh, detects the rate of fish mass entering the net. Oh, that be cool. We need to get that. Oh, door sensors. Look at all these upgrades we can get. Nice. Um, we're going to hold off for the second. Because we probably need to buy some trawling nets as well, don't we? Or do they come with it? They come with it by the looks of it. Uh, we need to hire two more hands. So, um, hiring price 20. We're going to buy a tour because he's cheap. And then we're going to have a look at who's best at uh, trawling. And he got trawling skills, net hauling, machine gutting, hand gutting. Okay. Uh, 2.3 freezing we'll get we'll take um, Jorg um, 
Any jobs? No. Okay, blimey. I didn't mean to buy the Hermes, as you could probably tell by my shocked expression. Right, we'll get that. Um, I'm not gonna, can't afford an engine upgrade. Radar I want, obviously, for obvious reasons. Extra catch scanning indicates if the net is more than 20% full. Ooh, yeah, we'll get that. Uh, we'll, we'll slowly upgrade those as well. Um, what's this? Uh, allows you to see the distance between the trawl doors and gives you a small amount of control over their movement. Sounds pretty good. Measures the height of the trawl opening. Um, the height from the headline to the foot rope and the bottom contact for clearance. Oh, that sounds quite good. Right. That's all we're going to spend. Because, um... Holy bejesus. We'll come back and get the Lunar Bow. I didn't realise... Oh my god, look. i got a captain's uniform on it. That, they gave me a jacket. Ha oh, ha nice. So we've got the navigation here. You can go, um, is that temperature, map, depth. Is that depth below keel? I take it. And same for that one. Okay, we'll have depth below keel because that might be quite important. We've got switch off work lights, search lights, interior running lights, crew, manage the crew. Oh my goodness, look at this. Right, manage the crew. Who's the best cook amongst you guys? Cooking. It's actually um, Gorg. You, Jorg? Jorg? Tor? You no, know, that's where the food goes, isn't it? So, troll set, troll hall, repair. Okay, we all know this jazz. Good. Now, um... Okay. I think I'll put a bit of slide slip motion on there. Oh, actually, let's, um... back of the boat. There we go, we're coming out nicely now. Goodness no, oh blimey, look at this thing. This is incredible. It's a five-man boat, can you believe it? Look at the size of it. Anyway, as we're just slowly coming out of, um, out of port, how do I stop driving? There we go. Wait, what's this seat then? Oh, this is the ah, oh, this is the fishing seat. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is where we do the trawling from. I take it. So we've got an intercom there. We've got uh, radios and bits and bobs there. That's the not in open water. That's oh, that's the dropping the haul line, I guess. Not in open water. We've got the steering here. Another intercom. Lights and stuff. Let's have a look at this tutorial. Here you can customize the sensor displays that show on the primary screen when you sit in the trawler control deck. If you press the plus button at the top left, you can drag different measurements panels from the main menu that appears. Most measurements will only have valid data when you're actually trawling. See the wiki. The plus, oh, this one here. Oh, my goodness me. We So we can add um, tilt and various different other data in there. Okay, when we go out to um, open sea and do some trawling, we'll sit down and have a look at that. Right, how are we doing? We are coming away from the um, the dock nicely. Where's my controls? Can I have a visual display of them? It would seem not. Okay, let's um, take her out to sea then. Full beans. Let's stretch her legs. Oh my word. Oh my days. As they famously say. This is a bit special, isn't it, eh? Look at that. And she doesn't mean... 10 knots, which is not bad, actually. Um, so, what we need to do is come out of port. We're not allowed to fish in this area. And I'm going to have to drive up to this open water here. Actually, what, I'll tell you what. Let's come up here. 
We're going to refuel here. So I bet you our fuel goes down. As we're bringing up. George, oh god, yeah, he's been cooking. Oh, he's got uh, three meat patties done, so that's not too bad. Actually, our fuel isn't going down anywhere near what I thought it would. But we'll just quickly... Um... Oh, actually, no. We'll stop there. And uh, grab that. Shove that there. And we'll go and drive to the um, the open sea, which is there. Nice. So if we put a marker on it... No, I can't. Damn. I think, not that I wanted to uh, try to fast travel that. I just wanted to um, see if we could get a waypoint on our compass at the top. But we can always do this. And head that way. Look. So these are the big trawl doors. These open up, I guess. And the net comes out of there. So we have a big net with a wire coming off there and a big wire coming off there. We've got to uh, measure you know, how wide they go, how deep that goes, what angle that is. So cause we want to scoop, I guess, rather than... Um, Anything else? Right. If that keeps going, we can have a wander around the ship. We've got all the seagulls following us out to sea. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh my goodness, look at this, boys and girls. This is pretty amazing. Look at that with our little captain suit on. We're doing a little, um, a bit of a camp jog. I'm the king of the world! It doesn't really work when you're just on your own. And I don't really want Olav to come up behind me either. It kind of ruins the moment if that happens. Uh, but let's check out the uh, the Hermes as we got her. Uh, we'll also kind of have to think of a new name for her. Oh, that's just the lifeboat. Okay. Can we... Ah, no, 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 no. Down there. Okay, maybe I'm... No, no, no. No, 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 okay. I can't do that. I'll have to probably go down. Is that a door? Please tell me that's, that's not a door. I've got to go all the way around. We've got a little kitchen sink there. So we've got a little um, crew quarters there. Actually, you know, come around this side of the ship. We now have to do the, uh, the short fun run all the way around here. But it's okay to come down these steps coming into the inner workings of the Hermes. That's not there then. There's that, that ladder I can get around. Look at the look at these look at the size of these wires. Goodness me. Uh, and I'm guessing there must be a way that we can get into the crew quarters where all the um the gutting and stuff goes on. That's the bit I want to see. Can we get past this? No we can't. Oh, darn. There's the net in there. Cool, right. If I just... There we go. I cheated and got back. Right, how are we doing? Let's have a look at... Um... Can we zoom in and out? What does that say? Can't quite read it. We're heading out to sea now. How far are we? Oh wow! Look, see, this is why I love. This is why I upgrade the radar because you can just clear the um, the fog of war, as it were, so quickly. Right, we'll come outside. Look at that beautiful ship. Look at it. Just oh, look at that with the sun. Oh, let's get rid of that. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. All the seagulls follow. Oh, they're giving up, are they? Oh no, they're still coming. Right. Quick look, how are we doing? Almost out to sea. The good thing is, because our, our radar's so good, we can probably just go. There we go. I think a bit of a cheat there, but we, we should get there a little bit quicker now. And we're almost at the open water icon. Oh, that's that's gonna be a nice screenshot, isn't it? There we go. 
nice screenshot. I can choose which one I want to use on the thumbnail. Okay, welcome back. After a little bit, I just got to see that. We've just moved to open water, so there's no map screen here. We are literally just out in open waters, not a morsel of land to be seen. Um, so let's. Uh, we're, I'm at the. Um, not the control deck, but the. Yeah, the fish control deck, as it were. So um, what we need to do. We need four crew members, of course we do. Of course we do. Where's the intercom? Intercom. Come on, boys. So we're going to do some hauling. You all know the score, probably. Right, let's um, set the trawl net. There we go, we're dropping it down now. Let's have a look at this. So, this is... This is depth, is it? Okay, no, this is the door... I don't know. We need to understand this as well. So, we've got the ports going out from us. So you can see there's one there, one there, and you can see the wires. What speed are we doing? Uh, we're doing half a knot. We probably speed up a little bit. We've only got a sensor up to 20% of the catch, which is fine. The more sensors you get, I, I guess, the better. Uh, we probably need to... I guess we want to hold about there. And then we want to turn. Let's um, increase the speed a little bit. It's a bit choppy, isn't it? It's not too bad at all, actually. Bringing the ship round as well, trying to find the uh, catch. Actually, we want to drop them a bit more. Deploy. Oh, deploy. Sorry, we want to. Didn't want to read them in, I wanted to deploy, so we got slightly uneven now. Let me get deeper. So I'm thinking, um, so the port has obviously left, this is right, and as we're bringing them round, we want to try and hit this, so I'm trying to turn around here, so drag these around, so this should come in the middle, hopefully. Yeah, we're not quite where we need to be to catch all the best, we need to be in this red stuff here. We're getting there. Let's give it some beans. We need some more sensors so we know exactly how much of the catch we're full on. Obviously, we got the up the sensor up to twenty percent. Um, let's give it some beans. Four knots is what we want. Three point something is fine as well. This is what we want, but we want this all over the place. Okay, this is just new. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Um, oh, where was it? Was it the... Forward sonar? No. What was that one? No, it's not that one. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Let's, let's stop there. Let's... Let's start healing this in. Just to, we need to play around with this. I need a bit more. Um, oh, get off. I 
Let's reel this in. When they're in 25, we'll, uh, we'll bring the trawler. We need a lot more, a lot more practice with this. Go, go away and read the tutorial again. See the big wheels whirring away. Can we switch some of these lights off? Where the uh... there we go. You get a better sense of what we see. The um, the wheels pulling in the wires. We'll stop the boat. That reduces the amount of tension on them. Twenty-four meters. Sorry, thirty-four meters. Through. Oh, come on. Bring them in, boys. Bring them in. Oh, no. That might help. There they are. You can see them there. Hauling in. And that gets to 25. Can we bring that in? Okay, let's bring this in. Oh, hello. We've caught a big eel. No, we haven't. It's just the net full of fish. Look at that. Look at that. And this wasn't even, even a very good haul. Oh, that looks, that looks okay, doesn't it? Still coming. Goodness me. We're raising the troll net now. Like some huge snake corpse. Look at that. Massive. We know we caught some fish in there. We, that wasn't particularly good. Now we're now emptying the troll net. We've got all the boys hard at work down there. Done. Um... We got an achievement for catching haddock. Uh, we got 2,279 of those and 1986 Pollock. Good. Right. Let's have a look on the old intercom then. Um, he's knackered. You go back to bed. Uh, you need you need some work. Go on. You get on there. You two get on icing. Actually, who's the best? You go on there. Oh, you go on there, Care. And you two can do icing. And we'll get this all bagged up. Nice one. And we'll see where we are uh, storage way. That shouldn't be any problem at all. Um, but yeah, that was... Um, wow, there's, there's so much to learn when it comes to uh, doing this. But that is good fun. Look, that's only a tiny bit of our potential uh, haul. There we go. Look at that. That, that looks rather nasty, actually. <laughs> I won't lie. <laughs> that looks very nasty. Um, we should go and see the doctor about something like that, hanging out at the rear end. Right, but we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to do some more practice with this trawler, try and bring in some more money. Um, sorry that we um, we skipped the lunar bow, but um, it was a science experiment, and uh, at the end of the day, we've got one of the nicest ships in the game. Uh, we'll have to come up with a name. So any, any name suggestions for to rename the Hermes, then please leave in the uh, section below. Let's just have a look at our fish quota, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah, absolutely. Wow millions of kilograms that is fantastic right um so that's all cool we've got plenty of fishing opportunities and more trawling action coming next time we'll try and do a bit more practice as i said and get a little bit better at this uh, and i'll see you next time